cool, 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 cool. It's pretty cool. All right, so today we are looking at this J5 Create capture card. And as you can tell from me switching inputs, it's really cool capture card for switching inputs. So right now I've got two cameras set up. You can see here I've got my A6000 and then the camera I'm using, my Sony A6500. I've got them both coming into this capture card through HDMI cables. The really cool thing about this is I don't even have an SD card in these cameras. I'm just using OBS to record everything that's going. I don't even need an SD card to do this recording. I'm a fan. So as you can see with this capture card, I can select which one I want to be the thumbnail image and which one I want to be the main image. I can go back and forth really easy. I can make I can make this the main image or I can just press a button and make this the main image. Really simple to switch back and forth. Another cool thing about this is right now I'm talking right now I'm talking into this XLR mic. What I can do is I can actually turn this off in OBS turn on the mic input for the camera. So if we have a look here, you've got switches for mics. You can actually plug in a mic with a 3.5 millimeter jack and you can actually turn the mic on here. So I'm gonna mute myself in OBS here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Now the audio you're hearing is coming from my camera source going through the HDMI cable. Wherever your camera is or your input source, you can decide which audio input you want to go in as well. Let me go ahead and switch back. I will turn this off. And now I'm using my XLR mic again here. So it's really nice and convenient that you can use whatever audio input you want. Real quick, I just want to run through a few features of this. So you'll notice if I click on this, I can do split screen and I can do like exact half and half as well. This view is actually really nice if you're like, suppose you have two cameras, you want to do a comparison or something like that, you can really easy do split screen. Then you can do the full screen, but obviously scaled down I'm really quite impressed. And then as I've shown before, you can do these thumbnails. One thing you can do is press and hold this and it changes the size. So this is as big as you can get. It's a quarter screen. Then you can go half of that, half of that, and half of that. And if you just press it, you can also decide which corner you want it to show up in. So this is like a really perfect view. I've got my face in one corner. I've got this capture card in the other corner. You can see everything both together. I do a lot of things like this in my videos. So this capture card is actually really nice and useful for this. If I want to talk into the camera and be like, yeah, and you can use this capture card to change which corner you want it in. And notice how I'm still really coolly looking into the camera and not losing eye contact. And you can be like, oh, you can change the size. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can do split screen. Cool beans. I wish I could do that with my capture card. Well, you can't because you don't have this one unless you buy it and then you will and then you can be cool like me who never loses eye contact with the camera, just keeps on talking all the time for no apparent reason. The last thing I wanna talk about is overall quality. Like you've been looking at the quality right now, you can basically see what it's doing. It's doing two inputs through one, just one USB-C cable going into my computer. I'm honestly really impressed. Here is an example of me doing side by side. I think image quality wise, it's really hard to see if there's any difference there is a little bit of color difference. If you look on the right side, you can tell that the capture card, it almost looks like it's bumping up the saturation a bit. It looks a little bit more colorful, but even when I zoom in like two times or four times, it's really hard to tell if there's a difference in quality between 
directly from the SD card and the camera compared to the capture card here. I'm actually really excited for this capture card because for the longest time I've wanted something where I could just turn on my camera, record in OBS, have the flexibility of OBS to show which screen I want to show or do things like that. This capture card does an amazing job. The quality is top notch. I've used tons of capture cards and I've used some pretty good ones, but I've never used one with the kind of quality that this gives. The extra functionality of being able to do split screen and just switch between the two, honestly, I think is really quite amazing. And I've been really happy with this capture card. I do want to point out that J5 sent this to me to do a review. Thank you, J5. I actually really like this. I'm going to be using this probably for almost all of my videos going forward because I do like it so much. They didn't tell me what to say in this review, just asked if I'd review it. So th this is my review. Let me know if you have any questions. If you'd like to see a comparison video of a bunch of budget capture cards, let me know if that's something that interests you. You can write a comment below or something like that. I have about five or six. They all range from this good to really, really crappy. It's hard to know which capture card is good, but this for sure is a good one. I've been really happy with this. So yeah, hopefully this video helped you out and have a wonderful day or try to. It's all that counts is if you try. Well, I, other things count, but...